Hello, I am Dr. Lou Cabahat, Dean of Allied Health and Technology Programs for Unitech Learning and the colleges of Unitech, Provo, Eagle Gate, and Brookline. As the chair of the college graduation committee, I am also the master of ceremonies for the 2021 virtual graduation event. Welcome to the proud spouses, significant others, children, parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, and friends. Most importantly, we extend a warm welcome and congratulations to our graduates. It is an unusual time in our lives. However, in times like this, it is important to maintain some aspect of tradition of graduation. And that is what we are attempting to do with this commencement video, to incorporate some of the traditions of celebrating graduation while making this event special for you, the graduating class of 2021. Let's begin with the presentation of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the I now have the distinct pleasure of introducing the campus leadership teams. On behalf of Brookline College in Tucson, congratulations. Wow, what a year. We'll get through this, but I wanted to take some time as a campus director to thank you for choosing Brookline College. You've put a lot of time and energy in. And when you think about graduation, we have to think about all the effort you put in and the support from your family and friends to get you where you are today. So on behalf of Brookline College, we congratulate you and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. And most importantly, take some time to thank those family and friends who are with you through these tough times. And in dealing with COVID-19, we'll get through this. And again, we wish you the best. Congratulations. I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to you, the class of 2021. I'm so proud of each and every one of you for persevering through this difficult year. You have managed to not only go towards your goal, but succeed. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you. So please go out into the future, educate and lead. And remember in the wise words of Dr. Seuss, oh, the places you'll go. It is an honor to introduce this next group of professional whose contributions help shape each graduate's learning experience. Of course, I am referring to the faculty. Our teachers are the most dedicated and hardworking group of people who never give up on their students. To the teachers of our graduates, thank you. We appreciate your perseverance and dedication to excellence. Congratulations, everybody. You've earned it. You made it through a very tough time in the country to be medical professionals, and that is a fantastic thing, and that is exactly what we need right now. So I'm so proud of you. 
go forth and do your thing, make me proud. Congratulations, graduates of 2021. You have put in such hard work and dedication to your programs. On behalf of all of us here at Brookline College, congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations on finishing your program. You've all done a phenomenal job. I know the healthcare field is gonna be better with you all here. I wish you all the best of luck and congratulations again. Hi students, um, you all know me. Um, it's been a long, long ride. Uh, this last few years. Um, what you've done has achieved uh, much as a student uh, as well as a person and I think that the time that you spent here is going to make the time that you spend looking for a job, applying for jobs, and ultimately getting that job that much easier. You're going to take the skills and the knowledge that you have and you're going to be able to apply those to a multitude of different opportunities in your lives going forward. So it's been a pleasure working with all of you. Um, I've spent a lot of time uh, grading papers and grading assignments and looking forward to the next one. And hopefully you'll take that experience and move forward as well. Uh, thank you for your time. We appreciate you here at Brookline College and we can't wait to see what you do with your futures. Class of 2021, you've made it. Great, you're here. You're on your way into a fantastic career in what you've chosen to do. I know I've been able to work closely with you patient care technicians. I've had a chance to be able to work with you phlebotomy students and your medical assistants. I'm so happy for all of you to be where you're at. Now you're just going on with life and hopefully you either further your career or you just kick butt in the future. Good job. Hello graduates, I am so excited to be here at this very moment. We talked about this Back when you began, you met me and my team in admissions. We're always so excited to see people start their journey. And if you remember during orientation, what I talk about is remembering your why, the reason that you were taking on this challenge and this, this goal of yours uh, to, to, to get to this point today, where here you are, you have accomplished it, you've stuck through that the whole time, and now it's within your grasp. So I'm very proud of you. Walk across that stage virtually and walk right into your career and your future. That is what you asked us to help you with and here you are, you're here now and it's time for you to celebrate and recognize your accomplishment. Congratulations, we are all super proud of you. Hi graduates. Well, it looks like you've made it to the finish line. I am so glad for you, and I'm so glad to have been a part of your journey while you were here. I wish you nothing but the best on your success for your future endeavors. Hello, everyone. I just want to wish everyone the very best, and I want to say congratulations to the class of 2021. Hi, congratulations, graduates. Not long ago, you walked through those doors, probably nervous, probably not knowing what you were going to do or how to do it, but you had an idea. And that idea grew to become this amazing future for yourself, for your family, uh, and for the rest of Tucson. We're all excited and just overjoyed for the success that you have accomplished. Now, make sure that you remember all of the times that you had here, all good and bad, and how fast that they flew by. Because you will look back on this day and remember it with fondness and with love because this was the beginning of an amazing journey for yourself. Thank you again and we're all proud of you. Grads, this is what you've been working for this whole time. Eight months, nine months, here and gone in a flash. This is where the rubber meets the ground. This is where your life change begins, your career. You've worked hard to this point. You cannot stop. You've got to remember the persistence and the resilience that you use to be successful in college. Apply that to your career. Folks, this is what you have always wanted, and it's here now. Open your arms, smile, welcome it, and go for it, because you cannot look back. You've always got to look forward. That's how you're going to be successful. And remember, once a Brookline College Tucson alum, you are always family. You ever need anything? Call, email, text, or stop by. Congratulations, grads. Now go show the world what you're made of. All right, 2021 students, congratulations. You've made it this far. 
This is the one thing that um, here at Missions has a big heart for is to help you in, you know, succeed and have a great career. I know in the beginning it was a bit tough, you know, us asking those questions, making sure that this was the right thing for you. If we didn't believe in you, then you wouldn't have us at Missions to be there to help, and, you know, within the community. And you're going to make a huge impact going out to the real world. Again, congratulations from the admissions reps. Peace. Academic Honors is the highest honor that the college bestows upon graduates. This recognition of academic excellence is earned by graduates that achieve a 3.5 cumulative grade point average and higher at the conclusion of their program. The college distinguishes these graduates by awarding a gold cord to be worn as part of their regalia. Also, a gold star is placed next to the graduate photo symbolizing this honor. Next, we recognize our student ambassadors. The college student ambassador commits to going above and beyond to assist their classmates. On campus, student ambassadors always stand out in their red scrubs. The college distinguishes the student ambassador by awarding a red cord to be worn as part of their regalia, and a red star is placed next to the graduate's photo, symbolizing the student ambassador status. Next, we would like to recognize graduates who obtained employment through their clinical or externship course performance, and also for any student currently working in their field of study. The college distinguishes these graduates by awarding a green cord to be worn as part of their regalia, and a green star is placed next to the graduate's photo, symbolizing this achievement. Lastly, the college recognizes our graduates that are also veterans. This category of graduates is made up of students who often delayed their higher education goals, first to serve all Americans. Veterans stand out in our country and our colleges. The college distinguishes these graduates by awarding a red, white, and blue cord as part of their regalia and to symbolize their commitment to service. Now it is time to present the graduates.
As we close our ceremony, remember that this is an exciting moment that marks both your accomplishment and the start of a new chapter. We applaud your dedication and your perseverance as you continue on the path to success and lifelong learning. Congratulations to all of the graduates. Hello, I am Dr. Abdel Youssef, the Provost and Chief Academic Officer for Unitic Learning and the Colleges of Unitic Provo, Eagle Gate, and Brookline. First of all, I would like to take a moment to offer a special gratitude to all of the families that have gathered to watch this video and celebrate the commencement ceremony. It is my honor to address the faculty and staff, the graduates, families, and friends, and most of all, you, the graduates of 2021. I am sorry that I cannot join you in the live session like I do every year. However, we are very fortunate that technology has allowed us this forum to be connected to recognize your achievements. I know this may not be what you pictured and this pandemic has changed everyone's life, but we will always find ways to get together and celebrate this special moments. You may expect me to talk about the pandemic, but instead, I would like to, to congratulate you on this achievements and share with you some thoughts on how you can make a difference in the future during uncertainty, but hopeful times. We see the light at the end of the tunnel as vaccines become more and more available and so more people are getting vaccine. We will all be able to have a safer summer and fall this year and be able to see our loved one in person. The rest of 2021 will be for sure better than 2020. As a college and institution of higher learning, we have strengthened our ties into the community in order to support the healthcare providers. Early on, many of our campuses donated personal protective supplies to local hospitals and clinics. And we were able to successfully secure clinical rotations and externship sites and as a result, our students were able to graduate on time and join the frontline heroes. The fact that we are all finding new ways to do things, like we are all celebrating this graduation virtually, just goes to show you that our graduates won't let anything stop them from honoring what is so important in life. I want to say this is an extraordinary time, and you are an extraordinary graduate. Each one of you came to the college to test and equip yourself for the next phase in your life. While you were in school, you have enriched our community. You have made new friends. Now you are ready to make a difference. You show courage, strength, and determination. You overcome and overcame monumental challenges, yet you continue learning no matter what was happening. This demonstrates your resilience and determination. It is forever a part of your character, and you can be proud of this for the rest of your life. So as you graduate from this college, you graduate as an enriched person. You graduate as someone of high achievement. You graduate as someone who has proven yourself and you have triumphed. You are more prepared than anyone else in our college history to handle life's changes. The pandemic did not stop you from reaching your goals to make your dream come true. As you go out from the graduation today, you will be going out into a different world that has desperately needs you. 
a world which you can help to remake, to reshape, and a world that needs the kinds of tenacity, determination, and commitment that characterized our colleges and programs. Your great efforts have brought you to this milestone in your life. Your degrees and certificates, which we confer and celebrate today, will take you to new places. Let's together rebuild the world for a safer, healthier future for everyone. So, in saluting your achievement and in wishing you every success, it is now my pleasure and my privilege by the virtue of my authority as a provost and chief academic officer to confer your degree and certification for which you have worked so hard. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you.